I quit my job. You're on our way to one of our friends' baby boy's birthday, fourth birthday. And we just left Sire, and he was so sad, and I'm so sad right now, too. He communicated to us that he wanted to come with, and he did not want to stay alone. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Whatever it's called, this is the weirdest thing. Hello, guys. It's me again. XOXO. Pick one. Pick Hi. Hey. Buddy. Come on. Hi. What does the dog say? Oh. Whoa. How about <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. Back, back, back. Good boy. Good sire. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Lunch day. Lunch day. Messy-ass office. <laughs> That's how you know the creative juices are flowing. Yay! Celebratory brunch. Oh yeah. Yay. Sire, you're so silly. quit my job and I got engaged I don't have my ring because it's at the jewelers getting engraved right now but yeah I probably clickbaited you with that but so backstory I've been working at my last job for almost four years five if you want to count internships and um, I realized what I was doing was not for me and so I wanted to change gears I wanted to dive into more of my creative side and I quit I mean I was also very very burnt out you know burnout so I quit my job in November and that's when I went to the Philippines or Asia for a month. I went to Japan and the Philippines. Spent a lot of time with family, but unfortunately Mark wasn't there. And he actually went, did the same kind of itinerary in December with his family. My bangs, also another life update, my bangs, I cut them the other day and I'm just trying to figure out how to style them. So ignore that. Okay, so yeah. Oh, I got a perm in the Philippines so my hair is like not curly I got um a curly in I think J curl or is it a C curl one of those and so I don't have to really do much after I shower and then 
came back i was able to spend a couple weeks here with mark before he was gonna go on his trip and then i spent christmas and new year's with family and then went to anguilla two weeks into the new year for work to help mark with work that's what i've been doing in the meantime helping him out with his business side but yeah he proposed to me on the first day that we were there and surprised me with my friends i had no idea they were coming ian john cam and ali so i'm engaged and then we had a good time in anguilla it was like it was such a high and then yeah january was good my family's happy his family's happy all our friends are happy the relatives are happy too oh also me and mark were working on like a mini magazine like a i don't even know what to call it it's like just a publication of like our stories or experiences with his photos um so that's out japan was january's issue i helped with the design and the layout and like proofreading all of that um, and it was his photos his stories and then for anguilla it was his photos again um i kind of helped with the stories in there and the words but edits and design were me oh yeah that's out the anguilla issue for free so anyone can view it in celebration of february valentine's day month of love and our engagement and everyone's been loving it and i'm so happy that's all i mean it's it's a lot but that's basically what i've been up to that's why i've been posting a lot more we're publishing this magazine i'm vlogging so that's why if you have any questions let me know um please like and subscribe this is just the beginning I hope you all have a great 2024 and that's life. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.